Asana is a great work management tool, but what about life management? Today I'm going to show you exactly how I use Asana to manage some of my more personal things in life that's outside of the business. Here we go. One of the questions I often get asked is how long I've been using Asana. And what I often say is that I've been using Asana for a long time. I've been using it to manage my life long before I had a business. And today I'm gonna to show you one of the fun ways that I use Asana in my personal life to stay organized, stay on top of things, and gain visibility on just some of the things that you know bring me joy. I'm gonna be showing you how I organize all my streaming services, all the shows and movies that I watch, and how you can set up your own project like that in Asana. All right, so here it is. So just a reminder, just have fun, right, with it. Asana is a great business tool, but I always tell people that I was using Asana long before I had a business to organize my life um, as well. Um, and so now it's just, you know, taking it a step further. So this is really cool because oh, we all have had that problem. So we, we forget what we're watching. So what I've done is I've created these different sections, okay? So we have... Um, Netflix, you know, Crave, Disney, Bell TV, Prime, Apple, you know, YouTube. And right now the filter is on. It's it's sorting by the streaming service. But, you know, if I had no sort on, this is just like everything that we're watching. And it's organized by TV show or movie, right? TV show or movie. So if I go put that sort back on by streaming service, we can see what's on Netflix. Is it a TV show? Is it a movie, right? We have these custom fields where I have all my different subscriptions there. <laughs> Who's watching it? Uh, the family. Um, no, my kids were definitely not watching that. That was me. Um, and so there we go. We have the family. It's a docudrama because we have all the different genres, you know, uh, of stuff that's out there right now. Um, am I watching it? Meaning like, there's like watching or listening. Watching is like, I'm into the show. There's no distractions. I'm not on my phone. Um, and then listening is just something that I have that's silly on that is just like background noise. Like The Office, I've probably seen it a billion times, literally a billion times. Um, don't fact check me. But you know, that's just something that's on in the background, right? Bad Blood, I'm watching that show. Made is like, it's on the list but you know i'm not watching it yet so what i can do is i can come in here and i can give it a rating right like so if i've heard really good things about it i can give it a five star rating that's something that i definitely want to watch because now we can use our filters right we can add a custom filter and we can go by um rating and now we can do i only want to see things that have five star ratings right um and so that's one of the things that i can do um just to see like what do I want to watch? And I don't have to be scrolling and switching apps all the time. I can just see what's here. So you're probably wondering, but this looks really tedious. And yeah, it was the first time I set it up once. I put all my custom fields in, you know, I can assign, you know, who's watching it, whether it's my wife and myself, um, whether the family's watching it. And again, we can use all these fields to our benefit. So one of the extra things that I did to uh, make this easier I created a form, yes I did. I created a form here. I can hear some of you laughing right now. Um, but this is um, on on our phone. Like we just have like a link that's pinned in one of our, our iMessages between my wife and myself. So it's a new show, whatever it could be. I don't know, I love this show, um, Bob's Burgers. And the media type, it's TV, streaming service. It's on Crave, right? Who's watching it? It's just me. And then it's animated, right? Comedy, and I can do this if I want to. Media status, I'm more like listening to it. It's just kind of silly on in the background when I'm doing some admin work maybe. Um, if it's like a new show and that releases every single week, like a lot of the stuff on Crave does, um, it comes out on Wednesday. Um, yeah, like a show that I was watching was Dope Sick. Um, if you haven't seen Dope Sick, go watch it. It's on Crave. Um, but it came out every week and I'd forget because I'd be watching another show that came out on a specific day of the week. And so this just gives me um, an understanding. And then um, Bob's Burgers, it's not a five star show. I don't know, maybe three or four stars. But And then I would submit this. And then, of course, it gets added. And, and then I have the option to... Um, add another submission here as well if I want to add another show. So that's it. Um, just wanted to show you a bit more about how you can have some fun with Asana. It doesn't all have to be project management. It can be a database as well. Thanks for watching.